After over a month of talk about the Bibb County Jail being overcrowded, Sheriff David Davis answered questions today from Bibb County Commissioners. It's a response to a proposed resolution sponsored by four commissioners aimed to reduce the jail population. Ashlyn Webb has been covering this topic for weeks. Ashlyn joins us now live. And what did you learn from the meeting today? Good evening, Lori. Sheriff David Davis was adamant in tonight's meeting that the Bibb County Jail is not overcrowded and that most of the inmates inside the jail should not be out on the streets. Sheriff Davis says as of 2 p.m. Tuesday, his jail had a total of 831 inmates. He says the jail can hold 966 inmates comfortably, but if they have to, they can hold up to 1,012. Right now, today, we have 181 cells uh, that we could place people in if we needed to. He told commissioners the photos that circulated on social media in late January were taken in the J block, where inmates are isolated. Tuesday, Davis says there were 158 inmates in that block, with 20 to 25 having to sleep on cots on the floor. Inmates being inmates, you have some of the inmates who are assigned to an assail, but they prefer to bring their mattress out on the floor and sleep on the floor for whatever reason. He says that was the case when these viral photos were taken. That was during the daytime mm -hmm. when everybody's out of their cells. And that and they're going to be lounging around. I mean, okay. it's, they're going to be there. Some of them on the floor sitting around. Did that uh, one a result of overcrowding? No, that's not a result of overcrowding. That just happened to be in that block in that isolation area. Of the 831 inmates currently in the jail, Davis says 94 percent are there for felonies, with roughly 70 inmates in for murder. And maybe the most crucial stat given Tuesday night was about repeat offenders. Davis says 82% of the inmates housed in the jail right now have been in jail before. The median time for inmates to be rearrested is a little over a year. These are individuals that are, for the most part, the kind of people we really don't want on the streets. These are people who are charged with murder, aggravated assault, armed robbery, uh, danger, dangerous crime. That's, uh, that's basically what a jail is for. And Sheriff Davis also addressed the recent inspection report by the grand jury. He says those issues can be fixed, but the county needs to start a conversation about building a new jail by next blast. Reporting live in Megan, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Thank you, Ashlyn. In the sheriff's report, it says 503 of the over 800 Bibb County inmates are currently eligible for release. The sheriff says in many of those cases, it's because they can't make bond.